Hey guys, as you already know by now, my name is Alexis Tom and I'm back with another episode from a Manchester United blog series. Uh, today's topic is the game yesterday between <coughs> West Bromwich Albion and Manchester United at the Hawthorns, which was a game which both sides needed to win uh, for different reasons. Uh, obviously West Brom needed to win because, you know, of where they are in the league, you know, they're nearly in the bottom three. And of course, Manchester United um, need to get to that top four place. But in the end, um, they ran, uh, United ran out three no winners. Uh, the header from Phil Jones was a fantastic header. Um, great ball in from Van Persie. And um, Phil Jones with a great header into the back of the net. Ben Foster had no chance in the, the goal. And because uh, I watched the match of the day highlights last night and. In the second half, it looked like you know United. It was like the United of old almost, um, with the new players they have. You know, Fellaini was playing, Matt was playing, so it was like the United of old really. The the passing was slick, the movement was really good. It was more like Manchester United we knew when Ferguson was in charge. And then they obviously got the second with the passing. It was Fellaini, Matt, Rooney, Matt. Uh, Raphael on the right hand side crossed it in, really got it to the box unmarked and headed it in for a 2 0 lead. And then they took off Van Percy because it was on a yellow card. Uh, and then he almost actually got taken off. Um, well, he almost got red carded, but he got a ball in a challenge with Stephen Reid, the, the right back for us, Brom. Uh, so David Moyes did the sensible thing and decided to take Van Persie off and put Danny Wall back on and the third goal was really a bit class really um, it was uh, Fellaini, Mata and then Rooney passed it through the back four well back was onside and then just coolly slotted it past the unrushing Ben Foster um, man of the match was Michael Carrick um, I really like Carrick as a midfielder I think he's he can score from any distance, he can, he's a great passer of the ball, he's like a young Steven Gerrard if you will, but you know, just a little bit younger. Um, and also, obviously Phil Jones was back in the team after a long absence out, I think they've missed Phil Jones actually. And I think if you look at the, the back four for Manchester United for that game, the back four was, actually I'll go for the whole team. Uh, the back, uh, the team was De Gea in goal, Raphael, Jones, Smalling and Evra, which I thought, was Bomb going to exploit this? I thought, hmm, not quite sure. Anyway, uh, next, um, Carrick and Fellaini were the two midfielders. Yanazai, Rooney and Mata were the three attacking, attacking midfielders. And Van Persie up front on his own. Now the lads on match of the days, especially uh, Danny Murphy, former Fulham player, spoke about you know the formation United should play when the big teams you know play Manchester United because early in the season they got punished for playing that formation, um, <clears throat> and Murphy was uh, Danny was questioning about you know against the lower teams the four two three one would work, but against the you know, the the better teams, you know, the teams who are at the top, you know, Chelsea, Man City, Liverpool, Arsenal, Tottenham. I think they would, uh, he said, I think we need to change that formation, which I can really see why he's, he said that, because, you know, if you're going to keep the same formation while the other teams do a different formation, what are you going to do? You're going to get thrashed, aren't you? So I can sort of see why Danny Murphy said that. Um, and also Kagawa... Finally got to game, uh, coming off the bench. For me, I think Kagawa should play more, um, because he is creative, very creative, down that left-hand side, because he cuts inside and, you know, really causes sort of havoc in the defence. Um, and also, Wayne Rooney's back on form, which is good. After the disappointment against Impliarcos, I think everyone in the United squad wanted to prove a point to the manager and also they're talking about Tom Cleverley, um having a 
five a new five year contract with Manchester United, earning him fifty fifteen thousand pound a week, which I think is a very sensible thing actually. I think Cleverley is a fantastic midfielder player. He can score goals, create goals, his passing passing rate's very good. People say ah, oh, it's really bad. You know, we shouldn't play him at all. And yeah, is it is it's hard to say, but he's still he's still learning. You know, because you have Carrick, Fletcher, Giggs, and some other midfield players who were there, um, and Fellaini as well. So maybe he's trying to get my maybe he's trying to get some experience from the other lads. Maybe I'm just saying, but I think he's um, he's a very good player, cleverly and. Everyone who says he's a bad midfielder, um, you should get contact lenses because I think um, he's a very good midfielder and he should stay for long years to come at Manchester United. So leave a like, guys. Subscribe if subscribe if you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you guys very very soon. Meow.